Hello everyone, it is Taxer Forever. Today we're going to be taking a look at Bitdefender Internet Security 2016. This is Bitdefender's um, second tier flagship product. Um, these are their paid line. They also have a free um, antivirus program with just the antivirus itself. This actually comes with few features other than just the antivirus. It comes with um, this autopilot function, which I have disabled for this particular review because I do actually want to see notifications. Otherwise, if autopilot was left on, I would not see any pop-ups down here about what it's detecting or whatnot. So, um, yeah, basically this is um, their interface for this particular product. It's very clean, very modern. Uh, it has really easily accessible buttons. Um, I have noticed that the updates take a little bit of time, about uh, two, three minutes for an update. So it does have a little bit of an issue with that. But other than that, the, the interface is pretty ni nice and clean and... Um, it's all right, and I haven't noticed any issues with the program so far, aside from just the, the slightly a slow update, but it might just be because of internet or slow servers or whatever else. Anyway, um, so let's go ahead and check the modules real quick here. We've got um, intrusion detection. We have web protection, firewall, vulnerability scanners, antivirus, anti-spam, and this ransomware protection. I'm not really sure what this ransomware protection is. Let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. Protect your files, family albums, and work documents from being encrypted and held for ransom. Okay, so that's interesting. This module is off by default. Hmm. I will not be changing any of the default settings in this particular program. I'm going to leave it as is stock. So just go ahead and look through all the different options it has here and all the different tools. It does have a, um, a data protection. Um, system, like a data protection um, section, that's the correct word. Um, it has a file shredder, it has safe pay, a lot of antiviruses bundle these sandboxed web browsers with them nowadays. Um, it also apparently has file encryption, I don't know if that's with a different version because it is grayed out, so it might be with the um, top tier, top of the line version. Uh, parental controls, password manager, um, under the tools menu, I think most of this stuff is just, yeah, this, most of this stuff is just um, for the top tier premium version, the anti-theft and the tune-up um, stuff, which I don't even know why these antiviruses bundle this stuff anymore. It's just kind of silly, the tune-up stuff. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to begin the review. I have um, my links here in this text document. So let's go ahead and move these over here. Let's get this interface out of the way. And I will go ahead and bring up Process Explorer here. We'll bring this over here. And then we'll open up Chrome here. Pin this to the side. Alrighty. Um, so let's go ahead and turn on the... Oh, I actually already have the virus turtle signatures on. Okay, good. Um, let's see. We have 28,000, 13,000, and 7,000 in the way of memory. Doesn't seem to have any other services or anything. Oh, no, there is a couple more here. Um, we have a 4,000. Oh, wow, that one's using quite a bit. Wow, that that's um, that's quite a bit of memory for one particular process. It's almost as much as Chrome. Okay, well, that's that's definitely interesting, to say the least. Um, so, yeah, it's using moderate amount of memory. It's not It's not the best. It's not the worst. So, I don't know. It's okay. It could be worse. It could be better. I've I've seen definitely a lot heavier antiviruses on the system. This one particularly, you know, and with modern computers nowadays, it should be all right. With all the 8 gigabytes of RAM and high processors and our high power processors and all this other new stuff that comes out every day and all this new stuff that keeps just magically popping up, it seems. Anyway, so yeah, it's it's okay. Although I do kind of notice the CPU usage is slightly elevated here. Let's see. What do we got here that's going... Using on the CPU. SVC host. I wonder if this is downloading an update in the background, this particular antivirus. Let me see. Actually, wait, is Windows downloading an update? I'm going to go ahead and check Windows update real quick if I can. Okay. Windows. Windows update. Let's check Windows update real quick here to see if it's updating in the background or something. It might be. And this is up to date. Okay, well, I'm going to turn off Windows Update if I can. Change settings, just to never check for updates, just so we can 
maybe free up some processing power. Yeah, go away. Okay, so we still are at pretty high CPU usage. I don't really see exactly what's using system so it's just SVC host. So I don't know if Bitdefender is using that much power or if it's just something with the virtual machine. I'm not entirely certain, but it does definitely seem like something is running in the background and using a bit of memory. Um, Trusted Installer and SVC Host are running, so it's just Bitdefender is the only thing that's been installed to this computer aside from um, just the other antiviruses that are sitting in the background. They don't do any interference with the uh, any other applications. This, we just have Hitman Pro and Process Explorer, and then Malwarebytes also runs as well, but it doesn't actually, it's not running in memory as you can see. Um, so yeah, we have those on the system, but they're not actually being used at the moment. Um, so yeah, I don't know exactly what's causing the high CPU usage, but we'll go ahead and move on with the test. Oops, did not want to close that. Let me go ahead and open that up real quick again. We'll go ahead and run this back up. Okay, yep, let's run that as administrator. Pull this back over here. We'll grab our first link here. And we will um, bring this down if I can. The virtual machine seems to have locked itself up. Okay, there it goes. Um, let's go ahead and move this over here a little bit so we can actually see these. All right, let's go ahead and paste this link in and see what happens. Bitdefender has blocked this page already. So we've got number one is blocked. Number two. If I can grab the link, there we go. This one appears to be benign. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna count that one as a dead because I think that one's been fixed. Let's see, I got this one here. Okay, that one was blocked. Oop, not, not dead, blocked. Oop. Nope, I don't want to control D, I want to control S. There we go. Alrighty, let's copy the next link here, paste this one in, see what goes on. Alrighty. Black Defender has blocked this one, so that one's blocked. Got Engine EXE here. Alrighty. Direct EXE. But Defender has blocked this page, so that one was blocked as well. Alrighty, let's copy the next one. Paste this in here. Going through these pretty quick. We're actually doing pretty good. We only had one dead one so far, so that's good. And. I say that, and we have a dead one. Okay, so this one's dead. So we'll move on. Let's see what we got here. Nope, that one's dead too. Okay. Let's see if we can get another link going here. Some of these seem to have the same names, yeah, so I don't know if that's a different, I don't know if it's a redirect or what, but that seems to be the same domain roughly, except for the first portion of it. We have order text.exe, okay, nope, it's not going to download, so it's, that one's dead. As I say, we were doing good, we immediately started we're doing bad. <laughs> Glad I grabbed a few extra links. Okay, so we've got this one here going, that one's dead, I think. This one says connection reset. Did Bitdefender block that one? Okay. I don't, I'm not sure about this one. I think maybe, let me try it one more time. Um, let me go ahead and turn off ad block and see if that helps. Uh, pause ad block. Is that gonna fix it? Let me check my network real quick here. Hold on. No, it does not seem to be my network. Um, I think this link is just actually completely dead. So we'll go ahead and just move on to the next one. Alrighty, so I think this one's dead. So we'll just go ahead and put the next one in here. This is a PDF file, must be an exploited PDF maybe. Bitdefender blocked that one, so that one's blocked. Oop, blocked. Keep typing an X. 
That's blocked. Alright. SVC host EXE. Blocked. Okay. Next one. If I could copy it here. Well, let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two. This one's dead. Three, four, five, six. So if all these other ones work, we should be good. If not, then we'll, we'll see if I can get a couple more links from somewhere, maybe. Uh, I think that one might be dead. Yep, that one's dead. And this seems to be pretty popular. I don't know if these are all in the same domain or not, but they have different URLs. Okay, so that one was blocked after all. So let's change, so is that the text one? Yeah, that's the text one. So that one's blocked. Oh, I can't click. Okay. Yeah, I definitely noticed a bit of a slowdown here. I don't know what's exactly going on. The virtual machine has plenty of memory. I don't understand why it's freaking out at the moment. Um, it's definitely interesting. Uh, but yeah, it definitely seems to be having a little bit of trouble with Bitdefender. The virtual machine seemed to be running okay without Bitdefender on it, so I'm not entirely certain if it is Bitdefender using quite a bit of memory in the background or what's going on. Okay, so this one seems to have been blocked as well. So we'll go ahead and say blocked. And then was it this one that we tried as well and it didn't work with that? Oops. I'll just copy paste that like that because I didn't want to copy the first time. Okay. That one was blocked as well. So is this one going to be blocked too? I imagine it would be considering it's probably on the same domain. Okay, so it did actually. Alrighty, good. So it did actually block those. And wait, was it this one that got blocked by the extension as well? I can't remember how many of these got blocked by an extension or whatever, or how, whatever it said. Oh, no, okay, no, this was actually a dead one. Alright, cool. Okay, so yeah. Um, Bitdefender did really good in the web test. Um, so that's actually really nice. Uh, all these ones were blocked except for the couple of dead ones, except for this one down here, but I'm not entirely certain what this is. It might be some kind of crack or something and it's not very well detected, or it could be actually what I had said, it could be a copy of Virate. Let me go ahead and scan it with Bitdefender real quick and see if it actually can detect anything in it real quick. Nope, says it's clean. Okay. So, okay, that's interesting. Alrighty. Um, so we'll go ahead and um, I'll run a scan with Bitdefender, full scan on the system. And then I'll run a scan with, um, eh, actually, um, I don't know. I, I, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and run a scan with this, uh, on this particular file with Malwarebytes and, uh, Hitman and see what it comes up. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and run those. I won't run the Bitdefender scan, though, because it doesn't think that this is malware at all. So I'll go ahead and run a, uh, the scans real quick and see what's up. So I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So um, yeah, Malwarebytes didn't find anything, and uh, Hitman did. It found the thing on the desktop as a Trojan. So yeah, that's not too big of a deal. It's just one Trojan downloader. It doesn't seem like it's anything major. Uh, and it just has a piece of ask bar that's just ask.com cookie probably or something. That's nothing major at all. So yeah, that's not too bad. Um, yeah. Oh, this is actually running still. Okay, let me get rid of that. Let's go ahead and delete that, because it's not that big of a deal. Seems to be benign. Well, it's not benign. It is technically classified as a Trojan, but it's just some little piece of malware that wasn't anything major. Anyway, it didn't seem like it did much. It was just some kind of gooey. Anyway. Um, so yeah, that's basically um, that. Um, Bitdefender did a good job, I think. It, it seemed to do, um, you know, quite well. Uh, I don't know if it was Bitdefender that was causing the massive amount of um, CPU usage and stuff earlier. I'm not entirely certain if that's what it was, or if it was um, maybe that particular piece of malware that got through. I don't know exactly what was causing it. Maybe it was Windows updates. I don't know. There's Trusted Installer, which is part of Windows. It's using a lot of memory, so I don't know if maybe that's Windows updates in the background doing something still. 
even though I did turn them off. Um, anyway, so yeah, um, Bit Defender is a little bit resource intensive. I do have to admit. So that's a thing. Yeah, it's it's um, all around. It seems pretty good in the web protection portion. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this video here. Um, be sure to stick around and uh, keep an eye on my channel for the um, next portion of this test. It should be coming on immediately after this particular video gets released. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.